three. How to introduce a number? Today I want to introduce number five. So in learning number, the first thing children learn is sequential counting. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's very important that we count in a very systematic manner. Unsystematic will be one, two, three, four, five. The child does not remember which one he has counted and which one he is not counted. But if you go systematically, one, two, three, four, five. Notice we have already made four and then we counted the fifth one so that the child is using his memory of four to say, oh, if I put one more here, then it'll become a five. And if I remove this one from here, it becomes five, a four. So that relationship of one more and one less is very clearly reinforced when we are counting in a systematic manner. Four established, and then we go to five. Now, after counting, you want to show this one-to-one -one correspondence of objects and the representation number five. So you ask a child, if this is one, then how can I show five objects? Well, let's cover one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. That is same thing as a cluster of five. These one, two, three, four, five are difficult to remember in the mind's eye. But the cluster arranged like that is much easier to remember. As a matter of fact, anything we can visualize goes to long-term memory. Not only that, if I have the cluster of five in my head, I can say two and two and one, four and one. By this, I'm beginning to see subclusters. And when I can do that subclustering, then we can say, look at that. Four and one is five. One and four is five. If this is not there, it's four. When I put this one, it becomes five. And therefore, four plus one is five. Three plus two is five. As a matter of fact, we can bring the three there and bring the two there. And we say, oh yeah, three and two. It looks like just like that. Or I might say to the child, I already have three here. Where will you put? And how many will you put? So it'll become five. Oh, four, five. So three plus two, three plus two is five. Two plus three is five. When children are learning phonemic awareness, if the sound and the gesture of the mouth, if they are together, the child learns phonemic awareness faster. Similarly, when we have an arrangement of cluster, and if we circle them, that subclustering becomes easier. Three plus two is five, two plus three is five, four plus one is five, one and four plus is five. These are called sight facts. Now once we have arranged that these five objects is equal to this five objects, we can bring in another element called Cuisinier rods. Cuisinier rods are rods of different sizes, but they are graded, graded in the sense that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If white is one, then red is called two, because two ones make two. So this two, red has two names, two ones or two. Similarly, when you look at three, it has three ones. Therefore, light green will be called three or three ones. As a matter of fact, children very quickly say, oh, I could have used a two and a one. So two plus one is three, one plus two is three. They are beginning to get the idea of decomposition, recomposition, or the sight facts. So if I put this five rod parallel to this, oh, the yellow is equal to five. One plus one plus one plus one plus one is five. But I can actually break this five into 
1 and what number will go there? Well, let me try 4. Oh yeah, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 is 1 plus 4, 5 is 4 plus 1. Then I say, what if I take the 2 rod and what number will fit there? Will that be smaller than 4 or equal to 4 or bigger than 4? Oh, it's going to be smaller than 4. How much smaller than 4? 1 smaller than 4. And what is that number? Let's try this one. So now we have 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 is 2 plus 3, 5 is 3 plus 2. What if I put a 3 rod there? Now I have 3. What number will go there? Oh, it will be smaller than 3, 1 smaller than 3. Actually, 2 and 3 was 5, so that 2 will go there. A little later, we'll name this property as commutative property of addition. That means 2 plus 3, same thing as 3 plus 2. And then we say, what if I put 4? And 4 and 1 is 5. So we have all the side facts of 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. A child knows number 5 when he or she is able to associate these three things. The orthographic image of number 5 and is able to say that it is 5. I see this and I say 5. I hear 5 and I say 5. That is called grapheme and phoneme relationship. But in mathematics there is a third element and that is when I say 5, an image of a cluster comes to my mind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When I hear 5, this image comes to my mind. When I see this cluster, I can say 5. When I see this cluster, I can write this 5. When I see this one, an image of 5 comes into play. When these three things are integrated, we have learned number 5, the graphical image, the sound of that, and the quantity associated with 5. And then, when we can say 1 plus 4 is 5, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, we know number 5. Knowing a number means I have this integration. The integration of these three and the four side facts of 5. Similarly, other numbers have one less than the number of side facts. We'll take other numbers later.